the other stress mm-hmm. affiliates have right now um, in the whole space is like they feel like there's all this talk of like, oh, if you're an affiliate, like it's not a real business. Like you're just getting that CPA again. Like you don't own the customer. You don't actually own anything. Yeah. You're not doing you're anything. You're renting rather than owning. You're, you're renting rather yeah. than owning, right? So there's affiliates like, like, no, I need to build my own business. Like I need to, that's why they're getting into dropshipping. You know, yeah. it's like, I need to like, I need to have this something that can like grow and nurture and roll. Um, but there's two things with that. Like it's, it's a good, it's a good idea, right? But one, like, unless you're buying media on that thing, it's going to fail anyway, right? Yeah. Like how many people you talk to with a dropshipping business that you say, if you turned off all your ads right now, are you going to be making money in six months? No, no. I don't. Pff, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, that's one. But what I was getting at is like affiliates, like then your, your media buyers, right? So like, who's to say you can't build a business, a media buying business. Yeah. Right. An like, agency, an agency, right? Yeah. Or oh, whatever. Like a media buying team, like some of the affiliates are doing this right now, like, They've, they start off as an affiliate themselves and they hired one, two, three people. They have a whole team, like a whole media buying team that know direct response, right? Yeah. That is a business, right? So in two years time from now, when like people are struggling to make money online because everything's so expensive and they don't know about buying anything online, how valuable is that going to be? Yeah. Right? Like you being able to say like, hey, we can we can like support like what, like big budgets, yeah. right? For your store or for whatever it is you're doing. And we'll make it profitable. Or for right. whoever, whatever big brands move into exactly. performance marketing, exactly. right? And that's yeah. the big thing we talk about all yeah. the time is performance marketing and the rising tide. Yeah. And if you're an expert performance exactly. media buyer, yeah. that's a good It's like you should be, be building in. a media buying business. Like you don't have to get into like whatever offer you're running. You don't have to get into that yeah. and then run that. I mean, you can. It's good. Like do it. Like whatever. Like we run a very successful e-commerce store as an advertiser it's definitely just that's that's where i'm at but what i'm saying is and that's only because i don't know how to buy media that's not my thing yeah um if you're a good media buyer and that's what you like doing build a media buying company and there's other assets you can build within there you know yeah. one of my our favorite my favorite example sell that company i can't yeah. sell my company well, look right at straw now. house look at straw straw yeah. house has built a 80 million dollar or they did yeah. 80 million dollars in three years or whatever mm-hmm. and they've done it on media buying Mm-hmm. They basically run offers. They were, yeah. you know, they ran Tracker, yeah. and now they're building. I, I won't let the cat out of the bag too much, but they're building media buying tools that allowed them to do these amazing things. If you can build yeah. technology around media buying and the, exactly and right. the nexus of and, yeah. and media buying and e commerce, yeah. that's an incredibly saleable asset. Definitely, definitely. You know, exactly right. So like, it's yeah, it's such a wrong, it's such a misconception, right? Yeah. It's like oh, I'm an affiliate. Like I don't. So chill out, that. affiliates. Chill Just... out, relax. Like yeah, build a. Media buying company, like yeah. that's going to be the most valuable, like in this whole online space, the most valuable people in two years now. When everyone's stressing the yeah, are the ones that can still do it. Amazing. I wanted to ask you: Do you still like you're almost all direct response at this point? But do you still invest anything into in, in, in the influencer space for any of your brands? No, no. Um, 